this is my medicine plant, and I try to grow as many as I can so I can uh, use it or give it to somebody else to treat some uh, unusual disease like cancer, diabetes, etc. So I hope to get success. About started from here, I will have a handful of supplies. So I'm planning to distribute to other friends around here to save some lives if I could. Looking back, facing the sun, this is about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. At the far end, you can see that the house painted with a white color. That is my quarter. That is where I live. On the left-hand side, you see all the uh, concrete, a uh, small pond, where I rented a contract for two years to do my seafood experiment, but not successfully. So now the owner took back and tried to experiment and continue their uh, seafood uh, breeding to breed the year, I believe. So profitable for as long as they have uh, the right person, the technician to work on it, and plus the luck. I think they will make it. For this type of weather the, in Vietnam, I think it's good for this type of uh, experiment, the seafood breeding. And this is the seafood breeding ground. And the follow to the left, I'll show you, guide you to the other side of my, the road. And this is the lake, and there are many lakes right next to it, right behind it. Some of them toward the left and the right. The total of our property uh, inside the farm is about 1.7 hectares of a land. It's all uh, the Angdea seafood the breeding uh, planting zone. And this is covering a whole lot of uh, different uh, uh, spaces. And they continue to grow and it's been going on for the seafood project for at least about the last nine years successfully the consecutive nine years in the past. The tree that are right next to me, those are the, uh, the fruit tree that come maybe two seasons per year. And uh, very beautiful. Now they are, you see the flower and very soon they're forming the uh, fruit. The fruit become ripened. Red and chili red color. I don't even know how to call that. If far end, uh, Toward the looking toward the water, you see one of the fruit hanging there where I, my finger pointed. And that is what the fruit look like. And there are many flowers are blooming at the moment. And you look through the, the underneath of a tree, those are the actual the facility how they set up to breed in the other uh, this, this seafood. I don't know how they call that because about the species it looks different. And there are many, many different types of uh, the seafood over here. I don't even have a clue, a proper name for it. Every evening uh, toward the uh, sunset, the house uh, they become a very, uh, the, because of the background of the house, it uh, turned uh, the golden sunset. And it was the background of the house. It looks so beautiful every evening. And that was uh, the most of a wonderful time. I would normally walk back and forth on this uh, little the walkway toward my house. I look to my left, that is directly to the main gate, where there's uh, the access for the truck coming and out to deliver in the goods and to transport the fish as well. And uh, this newly uh, built house, was for a solely design for the manager to live in. I look toward through the mango tree, those are the, the other part of our facility for the seafood uh, breeding. Uh, those are the, uh, the worker resting area. Normally they get in around and have a meeting or have a cup of coffee. They are raised in area, and beyond that, there's also several the big size of a fish pond uh, to experiment for their seafood breeding. Let me turn the camera back toward my house. I'm going to walk back 
toward the house area. Uh, I'll turn the camera around so you can see my face directly. And this is uh, about 3 p.m. in the afternoon, very, very warm without the rain. But for the last couple of days, the, waters, the weather suddenly turned cooler because of uh, getting so closer uh, to the Christmas time, so the weather changed. Normally, 5.30 a.m. is already broad daylight, but nowadays, even 6 a.m. and the, the guy, sky is still looking very dark. That's showing the season change. Also, in the evening, most of uh, the local people already have uh, the jackets on because of uh, the experiencing, experience, experiencing the cold weather at the moment. The Vietnamese, uh, typical the weather here because of a very, very hot environment. Uh, just a little bit of a cooler air to make them choking, uh, make them sick so easily. So many of the friends calling me and complaining of sickness because of a cooler air. But uh, for me, that's exactly opposite. I like the cooler air so I can uh, sleep better, so I can live better. I feel much uh, alive. Uh, with uh, the 30 some degree every day, uh, the strong sunshine in this part of the world is uh, very, very uh, the unusual and typical. But uh, you have to learn to survive. First of all, the true their weather uh, test. If you can get by with the hot weather, then Vietnam is good for you. Uh, but uh, it's time for me to make changes. I very soon planning to go make a trip to other country, maybe back to America uh, for my future uh, the, the business or going to uh, Australia for other investment or China. As you can see through the camera, the sky turning dark. There's a cloudy sky according to the weather report. This evening, we could have an evening shower the heavy rain last night and tonight, today may be a consecutive the second day of raining. The people appreciate the rain because when rain comes, the, uh, the, the road condition, I mean the, the atmosphere becomes better and more acceptable and more comfortable toward the evening will not be so hot. Let me turn the camera around. Now you can see this is my house. Uh, I've been living here for four years, literally, and I enjoyed it. As you see, the weather changed, and it's so cool. The area is so nice and peaceful. But uh, you have to excuse me. The nowadays the, the workers are doing some uh, the what the, the work on their pond, the fish pond. They're taking out all the dirt, the mud, cleaned up once in a while, once a month, so the trash are everywhere and this is not a good moment to see a beautiful the fish pond. Once they finish their work and the whole area become very clean because I will stay on top of that, make sure my area is all clean and nice and presentable. Other than that, this area is uh, always uh, beautiful uh, with uh, the maximum of uh, fresh air and uh, the also, the nature of the tree, mango tree, coconut tree, as you see, there are many different types of fruit in my kingdom. And this is I, where I call it a kingdom because it looked like a kingdom, uh, like a castle to me. And uh, I'm comfortable with where I am. Thank you. Bye for now.